the most bittersweet unboxings that I'll ever do on my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Today, I wanted to share with you a very exciting unboxing. I did end up buying two of these items quite unexpectedly. I just got them a couple days ago, so I made sure to unbox them as soon as possible. And of course, it is from the current season, the 22S. Without further ado, let's get started with this smaller box. So both of these items I have had on my wish list. I wanted to get these items. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to because everything at Chanel is very, very hard to get. But I'm very, very glad that I managed to get my hands on this piece. And it was one of the last in Canada. So here's the box with a little dust bag to reveal this beautiful belt. This was the belt that was on the runway and all the models in their swimming suits were wearing one of these either in black or in white or in black and white combo. I do own this one from Chanel previously. This was from the 2019 fall collection and they are slightly different still. They are similar but still slightly different. The one that I owned before is slightly thicker chain and this one has a finer chain on a leather piece so it is still a leather belt but it has the chain detail on the belt as an ornament and so they do give a slightly different vibe plus the one that i owned before this one was in a size 80 which ideally um, a 75 would fit me better because i can wear it high waisted and lower waisted and this one is a size 70 which was the last one that was left in Canada and I still snatched it because I wanted to be able to wear it on my high waist and obviously I would have loved it in 75 because then I would have more leeway to wear it lower waist as well but 70 also still works which I'm still glad to be able to get my hands on it so here's a little close-up this kind of buckle is super easy and fast to put on and then this chain detail is secured onto the belt it has four settings so i measured it for you guys the smallest setting is at around 65 centimeter and the largest setting is at around 73 centimeters i will try it on for you guys later on um, with my current outfit and also I will style the next item at the same time with you. But um, yeah, for those of you who are interested, try to get your hands on it. It is quite an expensive belt. I paid $1,820 for this belt, which is so much money for a belt. But I did love this belt since the get go, since I saw it on the runway and I knew I needed a slightly smaller size just so that I could wear it high waisted. I love wearing these finer belts on my high waist. Up next is this right here. We do have a bag and um, there is going to be a bit of story time because like I said, this is a super, super exciting um, item that I was finally able to get my hands on. I honestly, honestly did not know if I was even going to be able to get it because it is extremely, extremely hard to get. Here in North America, we are just starting to see them trickle in, which is insane because... Uh, anyway, let me unbox it first because there is quite a bit of a story and it is quite bittersweet. Like I said, I had wanted this item. At one point, I even thought maybe I will give up on the item because I thought to myself, I don't need this. But it is so special from the current collection that I had to at least try my hardest. My essay knew that I wanted this bag all this time anyway. I never really told her that I had a moment of doubt anyway. So in a sense, in her mind, I've always wanted this bag, except that every time I asked for an update, she couldn't give it to me because we haven't received it here yet in Canada, in North America, apparently even in the USA. They are just starting to trickle in to reveal a very, very, very special. 
Oh my gosh. The very special 2022 Spring Summer Collection Runway Heart Bag. I am thrilled. And even though I'm not yelling and squealing, the reason is because this is most likely, well, it is going to be the very last Chanel bag that I will ever get from my essay. And the reason is because she's leaving. She is leaving the company and she's actually moving back to Japan. And that is the bittersweet part because I have started my journey with my essay. She's been with the company for 16 years. I love her to bits and I will thoroughly miss her. And this bag is so symbolic because she was trying so hard to get it for me. Um, she's so sweet. She told me that she was worried that because all the shipments have been so late that she wouldn't be able to get me this bag before she left because she's actually leaving pretty much in two weeks time from today's video. So, ah. Uh, my heart. <laughs> anyway, she did manage to secure it. They did arrive finally and I just got it a couple days ago. She offered it to me. Um, of course I had to take it. I wasn't even a question. Even if there was any imperfection, I probably would have taken it, but it is perfect. Um, yeah, so that is the bittersweet part. Hence, I was you know, I was very, very excited when I got it, but at the same time, she had to share the news with me that she was leaving. So in a way, it's sort of like a goodbye handbag from her. <laughs> and at the same time, it's a heart shape, so it's so symbolic at the same time, it's so funny. Um, yeah, I will never be able to let this bag go ever, ever, ever. Not that I have any intentions to anyway, because this is, first of all, very, very hard to come by and... <sighs> It's just one of those very novelty bags that if you are a lover of Chanel, you collect because it's so special. Here's a quick tour of it. The front, the side, the other side, the back, the bottom and the top. The front flap is a very generous flap. It has a true turn lock, which opens like so. This bag is in black lamb skin. It does come in several colors. It depends on which colors your store um, ordered. Uh, not all the colors will be available at your store. This front pocket here is actually quite generous. You can potentially fit a card holder in there. So we will go all over the uh, features of the bag as well as I will try to fit a few things just to give you an idea of what you can potentially put in this bag. The back pocket is so nice. It is a generous size and because it is lambskin, it's quite easy to fit your cards in there or a parking stub and whatnot. It's very smooth and this lambskin is, feels very durable. Um, obviously lambskin is still more delicate than calf skin or grain skin, grain calf skin, which is caviar, but it's beautiful. I will talk about storage as well in a moment because this bag, you can't really sit it up like this since it has that angle at the bottom, it won't stay up. So I guess you would have to either do this, do that, hang it, or even maybe store it upside down, which I will show you maybe a potential way that you could store it. For the large version, there are two zip pulls. On one of the zip pull, you get this really cute heart ornament, and the other side is plain. Let's remove this sticker right here. We don't need it. And there we have it. Stickers off. Very, very nice. So there you have it. That's the zipper pull. It's super cute. Um, before we open the bag, I also wanted to show you that this piece here that holds the chain is 
not adjustable and it does have a CC logo on it. This D-ring here is a, is a good size. You can potentially hang some of your charms. That's something that you can maybe play with. Although this bag alone is already enough details that I don't necessarily feel that you need any charms, but you can. There is a little bit of space where you can put charms on it and we will try some. And uh, yeah, let's open this bag up. So this bag opens like so with the zipper all the way to the side. I like that it goes quite deep so that you can really open the bag properly and get in the bag. The inside of the black version is in burgundy lining and it is mostly fabric except that the two side pockets, the slip pockets are in leather and I'm guessing that it's a calfskin because it feels quite durable. The heart bags are apparently made in France which might be a bit hard to see but that's where it says Chanel made in France. This is the proper bag size therefore it does come with the chip, the microchip, but um, the heart shape line also uh, is being offered in a clutch on chain which is smaller, much smaller. There is also a belt bag which is even smaller followed by a wrist change purse as well as apparently a necklace little holder which is the same size, similar size to the change purse. So there is a total of five different items that you can buy from the heart shape line. Uh, not that they will be all offered at your store and not even all the colors will be offered at your store. It just really depends on what they receive. If I couldn't get this bag, I might not even have gotten anything from the heart line. But now that I have this heart bag, I also wouldn't mind the belt bag version perhaps because the, the shape is just so extra special. Uh, speaking of the lambskin, this season, it feels like the lambskin is, is a good lambskin, I feel. A couple of things that you might notice, um, and I guess these are just things that is sort of unavoidable, is the fact that where this piece is attached to the flap here, this part here gets a bit thicker, therefore there might be a bit of creasing right here, which I think is totally normal. I don't think that's a defect. And maybe also where this part is folded is also thicker because it's the edge. Therefore, there's a bit of creasing here. I think that's totally normal as well. Aside from that, um, I think my bag is perfect. We can try how it looks like if you do attach some charms or some extra straps on your bags. And of course, I want to thank my amazing partner, Samorga, for sponsoring this part of the video. They sell a number of accessories, organizers, and whatnot for a lot of bags, and they do it on the original bags themselves. They don't make the organizers for the bag unless they buy the bag themselves. So they don't make it until they buy the bags. And I don't know for sure if they will make an organizer for this one yet, but if they do, I will make sure to update the descriptions down below. But you know, I had to play with all the straps that I owned already and I think this one would be the most perfect to add on as a little top handle. Not that I will do it very often, like I said, I feel like this bag is already so beautiful on its own, it's already so novelty, it really doesn't need any other ornaments or whatnot, but I'm just saying if you do want to play with it, you do have room and you do have the possibility of using the D-ring to add your charms, um, a pearl strap if you wanted to, to give it another dimension or another way to wear your bag. And it is so super cute with this pearl strap. So Samorga does offer a number of pearl strap and they are not all the same length and the same size pearls either and this one is perfect for it because it can be used for the crook of your arm and handheld but you can also drape it and it will lay really really nicely under the bag and it won't get in the way when you wear your bag crossbody. So I will make sure to just link this one in the description below if you're interested. So before I remove it I did want to show you that Samorga uses really premium material for all their accessories. So 
All their chains are 24 karat gold plated and these pearls are really, really nice. It's an actual chain strap underneath and they just loop these cute pearls through it. So it's very secure and it's 24 karat gold plated and these pearls are just a good size. They're just a great size. They now also offer strap covers. It's probably not a necessity to use on this bag, but those of you who already have this or you may be wondering um, for a way to store your bag upside down and have the chains neatly tucked away, then this is potentially something that you can do. As you see the bag, it's not completely flat, right? It is a heart shape here, but the zippers, they do kind of protrude. And this is the part where it's a bit more flexible. It's a little bumpy, so you can potentially store your bag upside down. Something like this, you can potentially store your chains on top of the bag in there, tucked away, and then you can just store your bag like this upside down because this now acts like a little cushion, but all your chains are tucked away and it sits right on top of the zipper anyway. So I thought that would be a potential way for you to store your bag. Obviously you can store any way you want. I still am trying to figure out which is the best way for myself, but I thought that would be one way that you could use these strap holders or when you're traveling, you can use these strap holders. You tuck away all your straps in here and you just roll it into a tight little bundle and then you just secure it. So um, it's very neat and just a very clean way of making sure that your straps are tucked away and it doesn't make indents on the bag. Oh, by the way, a lot of you asked me if Samorga was going to make an organizer for this denim bag, which I just got from the previous season, the 22S, sorry, 22P season. This is the denim mood flap in the large size. So Samorga did end up making it for the large size, but didn't make it for the small size because again, they were only able to buy the large size for themselves. And so they did make it for the large, but since they couldn't buy the small size, then they're not making it for the small. But if you do have the large, then I do highly recommend it. I'm actually getting my hands on one. So I'll probably just get it in blue. And yeah, I can't wait to get an organizer for this because it will really help with the structure and I know over time it'll just be the greatest thing like a lifesaver for the structure of this bag because it will only get worse as I use it more and more and more and more but yeah so that's the little update and uh, let me know if you want me to show you when it arrives when I do get it um, because yeah I definitely feel that this bag does need it all right I grabbed a bunch of things and we'll try to play with the space in here I'm sure there are many other ways of fitting things but this is just what I've grabbed and I did want to show you that the card holder does fit in the front because I kind of tried it I don't want to push it though because Again, even though it does fit a card holder, I'm most likely not really going to put my card holder in there. It's probably harder to get it in and out every single time. There you go. My card holder is in there. Like I said, um, I only gently put it in because I didn't really want to push it. But it does have enough of that depth and it does close like so. So you know that the front compartment is not a small compartment it will fit this whole card holder in there now the question is the main compartment first thing first can we fit a phone and the answer is it depends <laughs> it depends on the size of your phone i do own the max size phone but i do own an older max phone so there you have it mine is the 10s max iphone so it's the 10th generation iPhone, but it's the max version. And I do know that the latter one, they have made the, the phone a bit taller and also the bezel is kind of a like flat. And so it's actually chunkier. I feel like this is the smaller of the max phone already. Therefore, um, just pay attention to the dimensions. Um, also, if you have a very fat case, that also affects whether it will fit in there. 
But anyway, if you have an approximate size found to mine, which is mine again is the Apple 10X Max, so XS Max, then it will fit. I will just show you. So you can just plop it in just to show that it does fit my card holder in there and it has to be slanted. But let's just remove some cards and just put cards in the pockets instead. I need my keys. We do need hand sanitizer, a lip balm perhaps. Now it looks like this. So the phone is right there in the back. Six key holder, hand sanitizer, my lip balm. And then I have my ID and cards in front, in the front pocket. And then I have my car keys and that's pretty much it. It won't fit so much more. It is still a quite a small bag and therefore um, you can't expect you can't expect it to fit so so much it's such a novelty shape as well but just know that it does fit your phone and your essentials so it's not completely useless and you're definitely not buying it because it's practical it's not you're buying it because it's such a special piece right you could use the front part of your bag as your wallet as you know for your cards and your money that's actually all i need and like i said it's really a, a novelty bag therefore you can't really expect this kind of shape to fit a lot of things and you do need to play a bit of tetris if you have a larger size max phone then most likely it won't fit uh, luckily i will be upgrading my phone very soon because my phone is almost four years old so the next phone i'll get I'll just get the regular Pro, which is a smaller phone. It's still a six inch phone, which will be great because it will fit all my small bags even better. Uh, and it will definitely fit in this bag because my current phone already fits. So let's do some modern shots. Like this is a great belt to add just a bit of bling, a bit of detail on an otherwise very plain outfit, or you can also cinch in your uh, shapeless blouses and whatnot um, so yeah this is a great little belt for that and that is exactly why I got it so like I said I got it in a size 70 therefore I will most likely just wear it on the last two holes high-waisted so that's how it looks like on me and instantly it added a little bit of details to my outfit and it's a little bit more special and just nice because now you've got a little bit more details to look at this is my new Chanel jacket that I just revealed in my last video if you haven't seen it definitely check it out I'll link it up here but um, this is also a great piece to just add on to a very simple outfit and because this jacket is such a straight cut, it's much nicer when it's opened. And yeah, this is an outfit on its own. And I can totally wear that with the heart bag. So obviously the heart bag can be worn as a shoulder bag. It's slightly long. It does have a 20 inch drop which is actually the perfect drop for me as a crossbody, but it still works as a side uh, shoulder bag. Very pretty. If you do add a strap to your bag, it will look like this. And this is just a nice way of being able to hold your bag with a top handle or on the crook of the arm. And this is just so cute. Just a very cute way of adding a little top handle to your bag it's actually it's actually really cute um like i said it's not really a necessity you don't really really need it but it's something that you can play with obviously um yeah it, you can drape it and all but i definitely think that it's best to hold it by hand it's just so nice this way because it's a zipper closure it's usually not my favorite but with this bag i find that even if you just open your bag halfway kind of all the way to the side here you can still have quick access and it doesn't distort the the shape of your bag and nothing will fall out either 
so you can have a quick access to say your your keys like that um, obviously with lambskin it's slightly it's slightly more malleable and if you're just really worried about creasing the leather then you can just open this side all the way because this part of the chain is on the back this part of the chain is in the front therefore might be a bit more uh, hassle therefore I could potentially just play with this side of the zipper pull and just have slightly more access that way so now I have very easy quick access to whatever is on top here actually everything is right there so it's quite easy access and I would say just close it halfway and yet you still have quite easy access to the bag and it's lovely it looks lovely I think it's the perfect Chanel bag to get if you're a lover of Chanel if you're a big fan of Chanel if you're a Chanel girl you must have it or if you can try to get your hands on it because it's so special and this size for me is perfect I feel like I wouldn't go smaller because I have so many micro bags and this is my favorite micro bag already so I wouldn't really get the micro size meaning I wouldn't get the clutch on chain because this is already the best clutch on chain that I can ever ask for but I would be interested in the belt bag because you know a belt bag is a different look <laughs> so um, yeah all that just to say that I feel like this was the perfect um, addition to my wardrobe because I feel like it's still very functional it fits a lot and it's such a cute it's such a cute novelty piece to own as a Chanel collector and as a Chanel lover that I could not not have it as long as I try my best to get it and I'm able to get it I will for sure get it <laughs> which I did so for reference I am five feet four inches tall and my hip bone is like right here so this bag at 20 inch drop sits right on top of my hips which is the perfect length for crossbody for me it's very cute and the belt is very cute too so i can wear this belt high-waisted with this size uh, i would have loved the 75 but it's okay the 70 is just as cute uh, i just can't wear super low pants and also i will use it most likely just to wear high-waisted um whereas Whereas my other one, which is a size 80, I can have more leeway and play with lower rise items. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I know that you guys always think that I'm not excited when I unbox certain things, but I am truly, truly excited about this bag. It's just that I also found out that my essay was leaving. It's okay. I will have a new essay. I have met my new essay. He's very, very nice. But at the same time, I know I will miss my current essay, so it was very bittersweet. But she did manage to get me this, which I'm so grateful. And uh, it's such a beautiful bag, too. <laughs> it's such a symbolic bag. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the little bit of story time, the modeling shots, as well as what fits. I think this is the perfect novelty bag that still is... <laughs> practical it's not completely useless and it's just worth it's worth it because of the now the memory that I will have attached to this bag as well as just the very special iconic shape that Chanel hasn't made in many many years the last time they have made a heart bag was in the 90s and I love 90s fashion I love fashion in general so it doesn't really matter which which era it is from but 90s is always good because i grew up in the 90s if you're new to my channel i would love to have you back so please do subscribe if you want to support me further you can also join my channel membership where you get more exclusive content thank you again and have a great day i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye